these rocks have suffered enormous changes through the five to six hundred million years that have passed since they were sand and organisms and today when they are rocks with all strange colours all over them. We can see the effect of the desert here on these rocks. They've got stains and they've been worn and, and changed so they're very different from the rocks that were formed deep under the earth. And that's how we know about ancient oceans because we take the current landscape and we unfold it we take the current sea level and we raise it and lower it and in our minds we reconstruct a sequence of events that goes all the way back to the fact that the area which lies to the west of me was once a giant ocean basin stretching all the way into what is now Antarctica through South Australia into the central of Australia. That ocean basin was closed as the eastern part of Australia was built by islands and what we call terrains being squeezed up against the western part of Australia and these layers of rock which had been forming as a result of individual storms and tides depositing sand and mud on the sea floor and sinking for millions of years ceased and be was reversed and instead of lying flat they were buckled up into the air and the mountain building began. And we can see the roots of those mountains here today. And if they hadn't been buckled up, we wouldn't be looking at these rocks. They'd still be buried. We'd have to drill down. And then we'd have no chance of looking at whole sea floors like we do in these Ediacara fossil deposits. 